Hello and welcome to MATLAB Programming for Numerical Computations. We are in week number 6. In this week, we are going to cover regression and interpolation. Regression is something that's familiar to you probably as curve fitting. So for example, fitting straight line to several data points. Interpolation is probably familiar to you as simply joining the dots. So we are going to cover regression and interpolation in module 6. Okay, let's first take an example. Uh, let's say we have been given the following data. The X is given over here and Y is uh, given alongside with X. And this when we plot in X versus Y curve, we are going to get these as uh, these data points on the two dimensional space. Okay, what regression tells us is how do we obtain a straight line, for example, that best fits the data. So this is the straight line of the form a0 plus a1x equal to y and we want to find the values of a0 and a1 so that this particular line is the best fit line for all these data points. So what we are going to do in regression is to minimize the error between the data points on this line and the corresponding data point that is shown over here. Now what is interpolation? Interpolation is kind of joining the dots which basically means that we want to find a curve that passes through all the data points. The reason why we would use interpolation is to for example fill in the missing data. So let's say this is the particular uh, set of data and we want something at 2.0 see there is no data available at x equal to 2.0 so in that particular case we are going to use interpolation as against interpolation when we are going to use regression is when we need some kind of a functional form as y equal to f of x and we want to find that particular functional form or specifically we want to find the parameters that best satisfy that functional form that's when we use regression Okay, so in regression, we are interested in fitting a chosen function to the data. The function, for example, in this case might end up being y equal to 0 0.45 plus 0 0.47x. In case of interpolation, given a finite amount of data, we are interested in obtaining new data points within this range, that is new data points within the range of 0 0.8 to 4.9. Okay, so that is the intent of interpolation and regression. So for example, if you want to query at x equal to 2.0, what's the value of y? What's the probable value of y? If this is the interpolant that we are going to use, then the value of y is going to be 1.87. Okay, so what are we going to do in this module? In module six, the first lecture, th that is this lecture is primarily a demonstration lecture. Uh, I'm going to cover linear regression and Newton's interpolation to just give us give ourselves some idea of how the regression is going to work. Okay, uh, we are not going to use this particular examples to see how re uh, interpolation and regression works. We are not going to use these examples uh, in order to uh, uh, code something in MATLAB, I'll quickly demonstrate a MATLAB code for you to show you what regression means, what interpolation means and the difference between the two and primarily for the sake of completeness. In the next lecture, we are going to cover curve fitting with multiple parameters and we'll take up one MATLAB function called LSQ curve fit in order to solve this problem as well. So we will take a problem and we will solve it in two ways. One is using uh, uh, a method that we would learn in the next lecture as well as using a MATLAB based algorithm. 
uh, in lecture 6.3 we are going to use these con concepts for parameter estimation we will take the example of a reaction rate something that you would have done in your chemistry course in 11th and 12th grade we are going to take that uh, forward in lecture 6.3 using MATLAB so 6.2 and 6.3 will cover examples in linear regression in lecture 6.4 we are going to cover interpolation in case of interpolation we are not going to build our own codes to do interpolation instead we will use two powerful functions in MATLAB spline and pchip in order to do interpolation we will cover what spline and pchip does in lecture 6.4 as well as methods to use them Okay, so let's go over to the demo part of for linear regression as well as Newton's interpolation and we will take this particular set of data in order to demonstrate regression and interpolation. So in case of linear least squares regression, the question that we want to ask is how to fit a straight line y equal to a0 plus a1, a1x to the given data. Uh, in the computational techniques lectures in module 5, uh, module 5 lecture number 1 and lecture number 2, we have covered methods to do linear uh, regression and the link for which is given over here. So if you want to understand the derivation for how to get this particular equation, you can go over to this link and you can look at uh, uh, the derivation for getting this equation. We are going to get two equations and two unknowns. This is the first equation. This is the second equation. We put these two equations together. We are get, going to get this in the form a phi equal to b. So our phi vector which is a0 and a1 the two parameters a0 and a1 is just going to be a inverse multiplied by b. Okay. In case of Newton's divided difference formula, which was covered in uh, module 5 lecture uh, 4, in that case, we build what is known as divided difference tables. So divided difference table in the first divided difference is based on difference between y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, y3 minus y2 divided by x3 minus x2, y4 minus y3 divided by x4 minus x3, so on and so forth. The next set of divided difference is based on the d's. So that means d squared is nothing but d2 minus d1 divided by x3 minus x1, d3 minus d2 divided by x4 minus x2, so on and so forth. And so on we go until d to the power n. This is how we build the overall divided difference table and the top row of the divided difference table forms the divided difference coefficients. Again, um, this is for demonstration purposes only to show uh, the things that were covered in the computational techniques course. We are kind of sh showing parallels using MATLAB and that's the intent of this demonstration lecture. So let's go to MATLAB. Okay, and let's look at the example. Okay, unlike the previous lectures, today what I'm going to do is I'll just show you the final code and I'll just go over some of the interesting aspects of the code. I'm not going to discuss the code in detail uh, since this is a demo lecture. Uh, so let's look at, uh, look at the various lines of code. This is the X and Y data points. N is nothing but the length of the vector X. This is the part where we compute linear regression and this is where we uh, compute interpolation using divided difference. Our, our matrix A was formed as shown over here. N, we have N summation Xi, summation Xi, summation Xi squared as the four guys N sum X, sum X and sum X dot star x which is summation of xi squared likewise we form the b matrix that is shown over here okay and then phi is going to be nothing but inverse of a multiplied by b we are plotting the original data points and we are plotting the value a a um, uh, sorry we are plotting the value a0 x a0 plus a1 x so a0 that is like phi 0 plus 
uh, sorry phi phi 1 plus phi 2 multiplied by x for this value of x which will be a red straight line okay so that is what we will do in linear regression part in the divided difference uh, part we have created another function called ndd to calculate uh, uh, the interpolant using newton's divided difference so we will calculate the interpolated values in the entire range 0 0.8 to 4.9 in steps of 0 0.01 so that we can see the entire curve how the interpolated curve looks like so let me now run the code okay so the blue dots that you see over here were the original data points the red line is the interpolated line that we have plotted so this is the interpolated line that we have plotted in red and sorry that's the regression line the best curve fit line that we have plotted in red and in black we are getting the interpolant okay and the interpolant that we obtain is using newton's divided difference formula so this is the straight line these are the data points and this is the interpolated curve okay uh, the thing that you see over here because these three points are located fairly close to each other in in the y direction that's why we see a very funny way in which this interpolated curve looks like instead of the interpolated curve going smoothly uh, in this way okay that is one of the things that happens in interpolation we have taken an extreme example over here you you won't get this type of a behavior for most of the interpolation cases okay uh, anyway, now to finish off this lecture, let us look at the Newton's divided difference formula. Okay, in Newton's divided difference, we create a divided difference table first by initializing it as a zero uh, a vector of n by n vector uh, array of zeros. Okay, and at each step, we are going to calculate the d column, and the d column is going to be nothing but the difference of the previous column divided by uh, x i my, uh, minus x1 x i plus 1 minus x2 so on and so forth okay if we go over here and we look at the divided difference table each of these guys is computed from the previous column of the divided difference table okay and that is what the MATLAB code does and finally the coefficient is going to be nothing but the first row of the divided difference table and we will use those coefficients to do the interpolation Okay, so this is the part where we are doing regression. This is the part where we are using Newton's divided difference formula in order to do interpolation. Okay, uh, to recap what we talked about in this lecture was, was this. We talked about linear regression, which is to fit a straight line or a curve to the given set of data. The example that we took was of fitting a straight line, but uh, regression it does not necessarily mean only to fit a straight line the uh, that is something that we are going to see in the next lecture uh, newton's interpolation we, we used in order to find the value of y at intermediate points of x okay so these are the things that we demonstrated in today's lecture and in the next three lectures we are going to spend uh, two lectures covering uh, uh, regression and parameter estimation and the last lecture covering interpolation okay so with that i come to the end of this lecture and i will see you in the next lecture thank you and bye